everybody, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Thanks for joining us here on YouTube. Be sure to check out RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com for everything Royal Caribbean related. RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we are live, actually recording this video live. We do so every Friday, so come join us for it. Each and every time we are live, hit the like button, subscribe, and better yet, turn on your notifications so that way you're informed whenever we go live. And today, we are talking about Royal Caribbean's drink packages. Yes, everyone always wants to know about Royal Caribbean's drink packages. What are they? What's included? And most importantly, are they worth it? We're going to talk all about that in today's episode. So let's talk. Let's dive right into it. Let's go right now. 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 Okay, here we go. So there are three main drink packages. First of all, there is the deluxe beverage package. This is the unlimited alcohol package. So if you ever hear anybody say the unlimited alcohol package or deluxe package, they're talking about the same thing. The deluxe package includes unlimited cocktails, spirits, liquors, beer, bottled water, sparkling water, wine by the glass, fresh squeezed juice, non-alcoholic beverages, uh, Coca-Cola souvenir cup, and milkshakes at Johnny Rockets when you're dining at Johnny Rockets. The deluxe beverage package includes any single item that has a value up to $12 or sometimes $13. If you're on a Quantum or Oasis class ship, then that value goes up to $13. But for the rest of the fleet, it's $12. And that's before gratuity and all that. Uh, you'll also receive, uh, with the deluxe package, a 40% discount on bottled wines, priced up to $100, and 20% on bottled wines, priced below $100. Now, beyond that, you have the Royal Refreshment Package. This is also known colloquially as the non-alcoholic beverage package. The Refreshment Package includes premium coffees and teas, bottled and still sparkling water, fresh squeezed orange juice, non-alcoholic cocktails, fountains, uh, fountain sodas, Coca-Cola freestyle beverages, the Coca-Cola Freestyle Souvenir Cup is included as well. And also milkshakes at Johnny Rockets are included if you're dining at Johnny Rockets. And as I mentioned, the um, refreshment package is basically the non-alcoholic package. And the last drink package is a really easy one. It's the classic soda package, sometimes referred to as the soda card, a variety of other names. But the classic soda package is simply a, it's just soda. It includes unlimited fountain soda and refills in any venue, Coca-Cola Freestyle Machine, beverages, and course a coca-cola souvenir cup now you might be wondering well, how much does the drink package cost Matt? that's a really good question and the reality is the prices of the drink packages will uh depend on your sale they'll vary from sailing to sailing ship to ship so it really is can be all over the place especially it's depending on if you buy your drink package before the cruise or on board the ship generally speaking when it comes to the deluxe beverage package especially aka the unlimited alcohol package you are almost better off always buying the drink package before the cruise. Royal Caribbean these days regularly offers discounts on the drink package uh, if you purchase it before the cruise. It will cost you more on board, so keep that in mind. Um, we the, the prices really are all over the place. I mean, depending on the time of year, your sailing, how long it is, which ship you're on, you know, you can see prices in the low 40s per day per person all the way up to 60 something dollars per day per person. When you buy a drink package, any of them, when you buy them, it, you are required to get the drink package for the duration of the cruise. So no, you can't cherry pick which days you get the drink package on. There is one small caveat to that, which is you can, you can opt to buy the drink package later in the sailing. So on a seven night sailing, you may get on board the ship, not buy the drink package. Day two, not buy the drink package. But then day three, you buy the drink package, well, then the Royal Caribbean will charge you a prorated rate for the rest of the cruise, which obviously can save you a little bit of money there if you know the first couple days maybe you're not going to go for it or you're not sure how your drinking habits are going to go. A couple things to, to keep in mind there. In addition, Royal Caribbean also offers sometimes some pre-cruise combo deals where you can take the drink package and its popular internet offerings and combine them there. Again, uh, that's up to you to do. One thing to keep in mind, though, about buying the drink package on board is you can only buy it as long as there are at least four days remaining in the cruise. So no, you can't buy the drink package on the last day or two of the sailing. There's got to be at least four nights left. And as we mentioned, if you want to get a discount on the drink package, they do exist and they come in the form of buying it before the cruise. If you buy your Royal Caribbean drink package before the cruise, there's oftentimes discounts associated with it. Most normally, you'll see a better price for the alcohol package, the deluxe beverage package. Occasionally, the Royal Refreshment package comes up with a discount as well during some cruise planner sales. And the soda package, I don't think has ever been discounted. I shouldn't ever say ever, but it is so rarely discounted that it's basically the same difference whether you buy it on board or buy it on the ship. One really good reason beyond the discount to pre-purchase any beverage package you buy 
is for the simple reason that it helps break up total cost of your cruise. By buying it today for your cruise in a couple of months, you're paying for it today so that it helps spread out payments basically among your purchases. So there's a decent uh, value right there. Um, now, if you're wondering, okay, well, before I buy a drink package, what drinks can I get on Royal Caribbean that have no additional cost? Great question. There are a number of free drinks you can enjoy on your Royal Caribbean cruises. That include tap water, milk, tea, regular coffee or decaf coffee, uh, lemonade, iced tea, hot tea, flavored water, juices at breakfast, not the fresh squeezed ones, just the breakfast, you know, out of a can or something, and hot chocolate via instant packets. And you'll find these drinks, by the way, available throughout the sailing. So really the unlimited alcohol, all the, well, the, whether it's unlimited alcohol package or the refresher package or soda package covers soft drinks and alcohol and upgraded waters or coffees or things of that nature. And we talk about, by the way, premium coffee this is a really common question. What is premium coffee? Premium coffee is lattes, espresso, macchiatos. Basically, if it has espresso based, then it's included. Uh, by the same token, premium teas are basically, you know, Tivana teas, a brand name tea uh, of that nature. So. Uh, well, another common question: Are there is there a limit on Royal Caribbean's drink packages? Meaning, is there a daily limit, or do I, you know, can I only drink a certain amount? And the answer is there is no limit on how much you can drink with the drink package. There's no daily limit. There's no total limit over across the cruise. The only limit that really exists is you can only order one drink per uh, per person, so at a time. So you can go up to the bar and be like, "I'd like to have a beer." Okay, one beer. You can't ask for six beers at a time. You can ask for one beer at a time. Per person, obviously, if you're there with a group and you've got four people with a drink package, well, then you can get four beers, obviously. But there's nothing stopping you from saying, can I have a beer? Okay, complete the transaction. Oh, can I have another beer? You know what I mean? You can keep doing that. That's fine. But, I mean, you can't order multiples, if that makes any kind of sense. So, um, probably the most important rule beyond that when it comes to the drink package is it applies to the deluxe beverage package, the alcohol package. If one adult in the stateroom opts to buy a deluxe beverage package, a.k.a. the alcohol package, then all other adults in the same stateroom must also buy the drink package. So classic example, a mom, a dad, two kids in the room. Kids are under, they're minors, they're under 21, and the dad wants to buy the drink package, the wife is, in, is required to buy the drink package as well. So keep that in mind. Now, the inevitable question, I'm going to answer now the hardest question, the question I get asked all the time, is a Royal Caribbean drink package worth it? <clears throat> and the answer is... It depends. It depends on you, honestly, how much you drink, how much you're willing to drink, and whether or not you will put in enough <laughs> effort to break even. Inherently, the drink packages do have a value proposition. Yes, you can save a lot of money with a drink package compared to buying those same amount of drinks uh, individually. There's no doubt about that. You can absolutely positively save money. Anybody can. The key is you've got to drink enough every day of your cruise, not just the first day, but every day of your cruise to make it worthwhile. And that's really the the challenge because as I mentioned, every day. So the first day of your cruise, you're excited. You're on spring break, woo, you're on vacation. Everything's great, right? So pushing back, you know, five, six, seven drinks a day, that's easy. But as the cruise progresses, it becomes a little more difficult, especially if you're doing shore excursions, which take you off the ship. Because don't forget, if you're on a tour of, of Mayan ruins or visiting the, you know, somewhere in Rome, you don't have the drink package benefits there. They don't apply there. So, um, you know, that, that's less time for you to take advantage of it. Now, if you're wondering, yes, the drink package benefits do work at Royal Caribbean's private destinations of Labadee and Coco Cay. So don't worry about that. But if you're in Cozumel, if you're on a tour in Cozumel or in Grand Cayman or in Nassau and you're on a tour off the ship, that's obviously less time you have on there to take advantage of it. So keep those things in mind. It's really a game of math. And understanding how you're going to take advantage of it. And I often say to people, if you want easy math, here's easy math for you. If you want to break even on the drink package, I basically say you need to drink about five to six, with the deluxe beverage package, about five to six alcoholic beverages a day to break even. Now, yes, the math can be a little twisted with, you know, if you get coffees and bottled waters and things of that nature, yes, you're going, that's going to bring that math value down. But generally speaking, if you're buying the alcohol package, you're talking about alcohol here, and that's five to six drinks a day. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, whoa, that's a lot to drink during my cruise, it sounds like a lot, but in reality, you can actually make it work. Let me give you an example of how easy it could be to break even on the drink package. You wake up in the morning, you go to breakfast, you have a mimosa or a Bloody Mary, drink number one. Then you go down to Cafe Promenade and grab a coffee, a latte, to get your morning started, right? Drink number two. Now, granted, the coffee is not part of the five or six, but you've got that built in there, right? All right, take the rest of the morning off, you're doing whatever you're doing. You're out by the pool, easily in the afternoon, 
Suffice to say, you could probably have two drinks. But even if you have one drink, one drink in the afternoon, now you're up to, I'm going to keep it at two. I'm going to get the coffee for a second. But you're at two, you had the Bloody Mary, and now you had, or the most or whatever, and now you had your afternoon drink. At dinner time, you grab two drinks with dinner. Now you're up to four. And then maybe you have a drink or two at night. Now you're up to five or six. And there you go. Not counting bottled waters, coffees, juices, and other drinks there. It's easier than you think, than you might think rather, to break even. But again, over the course of a cruise, seven nights or longer, it may be a little more harder to kind of break even on that. So that's kind of the, that, that, there, you can kind of understand where that's coming from, right? And there's a little more that goes into it. We have a lot of great content for you at royalcaribbeanblog.com about the drink package. So if you want more information about how the drink package works and what you need to know about it, well, then check out royalcaribbeanblog.com. Uh, there's a lot of good information in there as well about that and we've got tons of great blog posts in there but thank you guys for watching over here um we are actually as i mentioned earlier this video is being recorded live on youtube and we're actually going to go right to the chat right now because a lot of folks are in here talking drink package inevitably people love the drinkers i want to hear from you guys do you get the drink package do you buy a royal Caribbean drink package when you go on a cruise tell me yes or no and why which one do you go for and what's your thoughts on the drink package i can't wait to hear about this um because there's a lot of different comments, a lot of different opinions on a lot of strong opinions there. Uh, but I appreciate you guys joining us here. Uh, Luis Torres says, drink baggage alerts. <laughs> uh, so si Simone has a great question. If it's against my girlfriend's religious to drink, will they force her to purchase a different drink package because she's in the same state room as my ultimate drink package? So good question, Simone. So the question is, you know, some you the rule I mentioned earlier about two adults in the room, one adult wants to buy the deluxe beverage package, the other adult has to buy it. If you call Royal Caribbean and you let them know, hey, for whatever reason, your religious reasons, personal, maybe you just don't like the drink, whatever. Usually, Simone, Royal Caribbean will say, okay, for that other person, they're going to allow that other person to get the non-alcoholic drink package, which will be obviously a lot less cost and, you know, you're not wasting money on an alcoholic package over there. So, um, now, Ryan Harris, is all Starbucks drinks in consider premium coffee? Good question, Ryan. I'm glad you asked this one. So, this term gets thrown around a lot. With the drink packages, the deluxe package and the refreshing package, Premium coffees are included. Premium coffees, as I mentioned, lattes, espressos, macchiatos. But these are drinks that are dispensed from Royal Caribbean-based operations, like uh, like Cafe Promenade, especially restaurant, the main dining room. These are the places you get it. On some Royal Caribbean ships, there's actually a Starbucks kiosk, namely the Oasis class ships. The Starbucks kiosk, the drink package, does not work at the Starbucks kiosk. Let me repeat that. The drink packages do not work at Starbucks kiosks on, that, that, on any Royal Caribbean ship. But again, if you're on Harmony of the Seas and they have a Starbucks kiosk, no, you can't use your drink package there. But you can go to Cafe Promenade where they will make you an espresso, a macchiato, a latte, a white chocolate mocha. My wife loves those things. You can still get those included because you're getting it from Cafe Promenade not from Starbucks. I hope that makes some sense there because that's a really common question there. Um, Adam's got a question. I got it for uh, myself for sailing on Harmony Disease coming up here, uh, mainly for ease of mind. Now, I don't have to keep a running total in my head. Are gratuities paid when buying the drink package? I'm glad you brought that up, Adam. I forgot to mention that. Gratuities. How does that work, Matt? When you buy the drink package, whether on board the ship or online, you're going to be charged something called the service charge. If you look at the breakdown, you'll see you're charged the daily cost of the drink package and then there's a service charge. That service charge covers gratuities, Adam. So when you order a drink, you're at the bar and say, I like to have a lava flow with Kraken rum, my personal favorite drink on Royal Caribbean. Your gratuity is included. You owe them absolutely nothing extra. You certainly can't tip them extra, Adam, but gratuity is included. So there you go. Um, Gregory wants to know, does the Lux package include the alcoholic coffees and milkshakes on the Cafe Latitude's menu on Brilliance of the Seas? That's a really good question, Gregory. The answer is yes. Yes, it does. As long as the cost of that drink is below 12, it's $12 or below, Gregory, it is included. There you go. And, uh, someone asked about, ref about if the Royal Refreshment Package covers virgin drinks, like a virgin, um, uh, daiquiri. Yes, it does. Absolutely. Uh, Game Warrior says the drink package is really good and used about a hundred zeros in there. So, you know, he means it there. Um, glad to hear it. Uh, Edward, first cruise of September. Enjoy your videos. Very helpful. Thank you. I do appreciate you hanging out with us here. Um, Simone says, you the man. Why, thank you. 
Joey, can you use the drink package on the private islands? Yes, you can. Labadee and Coco K. Drink package works there as well. Um, what's my favorite drink on the ship? Lisnet. It is a lava flow with Kraken rum. You got to get with the Kraken rum. It's amazing. Uh, Blue Ocean Life. Drink cards. So drink cards are something different. Drink. So forget drink packages for a second. A drink card is a, a punch card that you can get in which you can... Um, you, you pay a certain amount of money, usually like somewhere between 80 to 100 bucks per card. You get 10 drinks, and the different it works just like the drink, the drink package. Jay Spiegel, thank you for the super chat, my friend. Very kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but with the drink card, it's only 10 drinks, but you can share the benefits. So maybe that, but the problem with the drink card is you have no idea if it's going to be offered on your sailing, there's no way to know in advance. So it's kind of a gamble. If you say to yourself it's going to be offered, and if it is offered, it's usually towards the end of the sailing. Juan Smith with a super chat. Thank you. Um, Juan wants to know, how often does Royal Caribbean run transatlantics? Usually uh, twice a season, Juan. When in the beginning of the season, right around the spring and the winter, the ships are going from North America to Europe. So there's one phase. So we're talking about March, April time frame. And then when the ships come back at the end of the season from Europe back to North America... We're talking about September through November time frame. That's when they run. So twice a year, basically. Uh, Alan, what's the cap for the drink packages on Oasis class ships? $13. $13 or below. Codsquad, does any room types offer a discount or a free drink package to stay in that room? Yes. Actually, that's a really good question. If you stay in a Central Park balcony or a Boardwalk balcony room, you will get complimentary uh, uh, soda packages. The, the classic soda package you'll get. Um, that's included in the cost of your room. Nothing you do. Nothing additional extra. It'll come automatically. You don't have to do anything special to get that one. But but you cannot upgrade that package. You can't take that value and move on to something else if that makes any kind of sense. Uh, what level am I on Royal Caribbean? I am actually a uh, Diamond Plus member. It's not that important, but there we go. Uh, Jasper said, was the non-alcoholic package mandatory for all guests in the cabin? No, Jasper. Good question. The rule I mentioned earlier, it only applies to adults in the room if they buy the deluxe beverage package, a.k.a. the alcohol package. Uh, the Barattles want to know, what's my favorite ship? It is Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas. Uh, Gregory, will they continue to take drink orders throughout dinner, or do they typically uh, or do they typically ask what drinks we want at the beginning and that's it? No, you can get it anytime during your meal, Gregory. They'll be, they'll be happy to give you drinks throughout the meal. Uh, one, aren't the Boardwalk View rooms not particularly private? I mean... They're very private, Juan. I mean, look, you no, know, you can't go out on your balcony and be nude because people on the other side can see you. By the same token, if you leave your window shades open, everyone can see you in your room, theoretically. But other than that, it's totally fine. I mean, I, I don't know that that's any different than most hotels you go to on land. Um, it's just different. I like the uh, neighborhood balconies, quite frankly. Wendy wants to know, have you ever taken a South Pacific cruise on Royal Caribbean? I have not, actually. Um, Game Warrior, Emerald, Nice. Ryan wants to know, can we bring two bottles of wine on board? Yes, you can bring up to two bottles of wine per cabin on board your ship. And you can bring it to the main dining room and your waiter can pour it for you, Ryan. Keep in mind one little caveat, which is that Royal Caribbean might, might charge you a corkage fee to open the bottle. I say might because technically the rule is they will, Ryan, but in my experience, it rarely happens. But I just want to make you aware that there is a corkage fee and you should be prepared to pay for it but it may not actually happen. Um, good question so far, guys. I love this. Uh, crazy guy travelers so needed this. Worried I won't make it to a local cruise show tomorrow because of stupid Seattle snowstorm. Oh, no. Well, take your time. Give yourself plenty of extra time, crazy cat. And I hope that the weather people are wrong about the forecast. Uh, Brandon, I thought you could get the soda package with the boardwalk balcony and a bottle of wine with the Central Park balcony. That's correct, Brandon. The soda package comes with boardwalk, balcony rooms. Central Park, you get a bottle of wine. Different benefits there. Um, Stamos, you get a free soda package for staying in a boardwalk balcony. I never use the cups. Can I bring them on my next cruise to use them? No, you cannot. Your drink package benefits, no matter how you get your drink package, are only good for the sailing you get it on. So if you get the soda, let's see all behind me. I got all those soda cups behind me. Do you see them? There's the souvenir Coca-Cola cups. They're very nice to look at. Great to bring home as souvenirs, but I, you cannot bring them on any other sailing and use them. So there you go. Uh, Cosmite, are you planning on taking a future cruise to Coke after it's done? I would love to. Absolutely. Um, let's see here. Good question so far. I'm just sorry. The, 
Uh, Alice says, your site is amazing. It's helped a lot on my first cruise. Last year, we got six books. It's all your fault. Excellent. Excellent. And no, uh, Blue Ocean Life, you cannot reuse your mugs on future cruises. Uh, Mike's going on Alert of the Seas. Give me one must-see do thing. I'm going to tell you one thing, Mike. Goes, there's a lot of great things on there. Mamma Mia, the Flow Rider, tons of stuff. But I want you to look for something called the Small Wonders, Mike. They're hidden all over Allure of the Seas. They look like little telescopes sticking out of the floor. Each one, there's like 40 of them hidden around the ship. Look for all, try to find them all. There's little bits of artwork hidden in them. They're really, really cool. Uh, Simone is sailing on Navigator of the Seas, coming out of Dry Dock. Do a video if you can. I will absolutely do that, Simone. You got it. Uh, let's see here. Storm Pinto, remember yelling for my wife's name, Teresa? We will be booking a cruise about the drink package she drinks. I don't, so they worth that for sure. There you go. Um, does the drink package include gratuities, Nicholas? It does. When you buy the drink package, it includes gratuities. When you order drinks on board the ship, you don't have to pay anything extra. Of course, you can if you want to, but you're it's already including 18% gratuity. Kirk, any suggestions for excursions in Nassau, Bahamas? I recommend actually a really great spot. The Nassau, uh, British Colonial Hilton in Nassau. British Colonial Hilton in Nassau. Um, Blue Ocean Life says, booked with an agent because of you, best decision ever. I love hearing that, Blue Ocean Life. I'm telling you, I use a travel agent every single time I book a cruise, and I advocate everybody, whether you booked no cruises before or a thousand cruises before, use a travel agent. Uh, Wendy and Donner is going on Harmony in July. Nice. Uh, Teresa wants to know, is the hot dog restaurant and Sorrento's Pizza an extra charge? No. The Boardwalk Doghouse and Sorrento's are included. Eat as much as you'd like without paying anything extra. Uh, Nikki wants to know, what's the max bottles of water you can get at one time with the drink package? One per, t one per order, Nikki. But again, you can actually a little trick here is in general, they usually allow you to get a regular, like you can order like a cocktail and a bottle of water. They're usually pretty good at doling out bottles of water. Like they're pretty firm about the one drink per order, like one cocktail or one beer or whatever. But if you're asking for like, you know, two or three bottles, they're usually pretty good. Again, get maybe a dollar after they do that for you. But no problem at all. Uh, Pan wants to know about the new Golden Balcony rooms on Spectrum of the Seas. Actually, she wants to know if it's worth it. Uh, I don't know yet. The ship hasn't launched yet, so it's hard for me to say. Uh, Jasper, are there any real advantages in being Platinum and Crown and Anchor? Yes, you get a balcony discount, dude. And you get invited to uh, the Crown and Anchor events on board. Uh, Chris Eppolito, travel agent. So next cruise won't give me uh, the best deal today. Both, Chris. You can, you, you can work with a travel agent and still book cruises on board the ship. Next cruise is just a means of booking it. It's kind of like an in-person way of booking a cruise instead of going to the website. Obviously, you get some benefits by doing so. But Chris, you can still use a travel agent and use Next Cruise. Firebird, first, please tell me the first thing I should do on Symphony of the Seas. Go eat lunch. Got to do that. Can't, can't explore the ship on an empty stomach. Go to the Windjamere, my favorite place. Uh, Carly, how does My Time Dining work and how do you know which place you're at? On the bottom of your Sea Pass card, it will tell you where you're supposed to be, for which you're, where your dining room is. Uh, basically, you can either show up there and wait, if there's a wait, right, to get a table, just like you would at a restaurant anywhere you're going, or you can make reservations ahead of time, Carly. You can make reservations uh, right now, in fact, via Royal Caribbean's website uh, by going to the Cruise Planner site, or if you want to wait, you can wait until on board the ship to make reservations. My advice to you is honestly make reservations as early as you can. It just speeds up the whole process. Um, Adam, do they have sports drinks on the ship? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I forget which brand it is. I don't remember, but they have, like, it's not Gatorade, but it's, what, a Powerade or whatever one, whatever Coca-Cola makes, that's the one. Um, we've got a military vet in here. Thank you for your service, uh, Charles. Um, are there any veteran veteran discounts? There are, Charles. If you're a veteran or active service or, or retired um, in the United States military or the Canadian military, I'm not sure about Britain. Um, you could, there are discounts available for you. Work with the travel agent. My, on, my first recommendation, Charles, work with the travel agent. Let them know about that. They can definitely price it out for you. Uh, listen, can you use the drink packages in all the restaurants on Navigator of the Seas? Yes, you can. So you go to Sabor, enjoy some margaritas. You can get a nice glass of wine at, at uh, Chops Grill. Sure, absolutely. Jeff, what are the chances of getting an upgrade by bidding relatively low and rail up? I mean, it's, it's hard to say, Jeff. In my experience, it doesn't happen all that often. Um, but... I mean, what do you got to lose, right? I mean, put the bid in, whatever you're comfortable with. And if it works, it works. And if not, all right, you're still on the cruise, you know? Nancy Day says, using a travel agent is a must for us. Love Sharla at MEI Travel. Thank you, Nancy, for supporting our sponsor. MEI, MEI Travel is a is our sponsor of RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. So thank you for uh, for that as well. 
Kelly, where do you book the Escape Room on Anthem of the Season? I'm not seeing it online. That's because there is no cost, Kelly. It is included. So just uh, when you get on board the ship, you'll be able to have a chance to check it out. Um, Juan, thank you for another super chat. Did I get another one? Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Jason B., do you recommend purchasing the key? Um, if you were already going to buy the internet anyway, Jason, and you're not staying in a suite, and you don't have particularly high status in Crown and Anchor Society, like Below Diamond, then yes, I think it can be worth it. Um, Joey says, Symphony versus Harmony, what is the better, which is better in your opinion? What is the charge of the Aqua Theater Suite based off staying in this room? All right. Uh, the difference is, um, the difference between Harmony and Symphony are virtually identical, Joey. There's no, one is not better or worse than the other one. They're just slightly different. So there's nothing, you can't make a mistake over there. Um, in your opinion, with the chart, with the change, is an Aqua Theater Suite based off of staying in this room? Um... I'm not sure what your question is, Joey, about the Aqua Theater room. If you want to retype it, I'll be happy to answer it. I just can't understand what you're asking me. <laughs> um, what is the key? Trisha, the key is a VIP program. Basically, you can pay to get certain perks and benefits by doing so. Um, there's we did a, If you go to royalcaribbeanblog.com and search for the key, you'll find a lot of blog posts that we've written, actually a really detailed review of it at royalcaribbeanblog.com. Firebrew, family of five, which room should we book for Symphony? Not room, but rooms, Firebrew. I would rather you book two rooms, two smaller rooms, than one big room. You'll get you'll get um, an extra bathroom, you'll get separation from the kids, and it's gonna work a whole lot better. I do this every single time. Greg, what do I miss out on what do I miss out on by booking online instead of using a travel agent? What you miss out on is your time, Greg. A travel agent not only can maybe save you some money, key you in on discounts, help you along the way. But they're going to make your life easier, Greg. They're going to be the ones who are going to be calling Royal Caribbean. They're the ones who are going to be pricing things out for you. They're going to be the ones sitting on hold and dealing with all this and making changes and repricing things for you. Not only when you book it, Greg, but throughout the process. If something goes wrong along the way, they're in your court. It's like having an attorney, right? You can go to court, Greg, by yourself to represent yourself in court. But having a lawyer is great because you can sit there, fold your arms, and be like, what she said, my lawyer, she's in charge, right? Same thing's true of a travel agent. They're well-versed in this. They know the system. They're working for you. And the best part, it, a good travel agent should cost you nothing extra because the cruise line pays them, not you. So you got nothing to lose. It's just your time, basically. Uh, what's the difference between Oasis and Allure, in my opinion? Honestly, Jasper, the art and the entertainment on board. That's about it. They're very, very similar. Um, Juan, does Rokerman still allow you to board at port other than the home port? What do you mean, Juan? Do you mean like if, like, let's say your cruise leaves out of Port Everglades, but you miss the cruise and you rejoin the ship at its next stop in Nassau? I mean, the answer to your question, I believe, is yes, but I'm not sure I understand your question. Um, let's see here. Really great questions all around here. Um, happy cruising. We're going on Harmony of the Season 16 days. What's the most fun thing, to, fun thing to do on the ship? Oh, my gosh. Besides eating, I think eating is a very good answer, right? Eating a, a lot on board. Um, Edwin Vargas, thank you for the super chat, sir. Very, very kind of you. Um, most fun, I got you, I'm going to give you a couple. I'm going to give you, besides eating, because eating is a big part of it for me. I'm going to tell you, you got to go to see, uh, Columbus the Musical. It is hilarious. You're going to love that. You got to go do the zip line and you've got to check out Central Park at night. You're going to love that one. Uh, Derek wants to know, if I already booked online, is it too late to use a travel agent? If you booked within 60 days, Derek, within 60 days, you can still transfer to a travel agent. So there you go. Tyler is here. What's up, dude? Tyler hangs out on our Royal Caribbean blog message boards. Good to see you here, Tyler. Uh, Edwin says, if Odyssey is set to sail, set to sail, that's a hard one thing to say, in fall 2020, based on your experiences, when do you think they'll release itineraries? Probably a year out or so, Edwin. I would expect maybe later this year, summer, fall-ish. It's hard to say, but... <laughs> In the latter half of 2018 is probably a safe bet. Um, oh, Juan, can you schedule to start in NASA and then... Oh, I see what you're saying, Juan. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, if you were to like... Let me let me put it this way, Juan. If you were to book a cruise that goes from Fort Lauderdale... Seven night cruise out of Fort Lauderdale. And you miss the start of the cruise, you can still rejoin the ship. I mean, obviously, it's up to you to get to NASA. Pay the money to get there. You're missing out on a day. It's not a really good idea. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Um, but you theoretically could. I don't see why not. Uh, Cosmo, don't you get a discount on suites when you are a member of the Pinnacle Club? Well, you get a discount once you get to platinum level, Cod Squad. 
with platinum, emerald, diamond, diamond plus, and pinnacle, you start getting something called a balcony discount. And the balcony discount, which does apply to sweets because sweets have a balcony, uh, will increase at every level you get to. Fire Ebree, most fun thing to do on Symphony of the Seas. Oh my gosh. Uh, there's so many great, amazing things to do on Symphony. I mean, seeing the shows is incredible. You've got shows in the Royal Theater, the Aqua Theater shows, the Zip Line. Um, eating, the eating is amazing. There's, there's, I mean, there are so many things going on there. It's hard to just pick one. Um, live free. I love these names. Uh, what's up, Matt? Mini, uh, Michi. I don't know what Michi is. Coco, uh, Coco was great. Just back from Majesty yesterday. I'm in cruise withdrawal. Well, dude, I think everybody here understands your, 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 uh, your struggle, my friend, but welcome. Glad you were here. Um, there are balcony discounts for Diamond Plus. Yes, Dave, at, at, from Platinum and above, you will get a balcony discount with your Crown and Anchor benefit um, with Platinum, Emerald, Diamond, Diamond Plus, and Pinnacle. Obviously, at each level, the discount amount goes up. Wendy, what cruises haven't I done yet that you can't wait to do? Oh my gosh, Panama Canal, Europe, anywhere in Europe, Australia. There's so many. Uh, Transatlantic ones, absolutely. Oh, so many. Uh, Walter, I'm six foot two. Is a standard room on Adventure going to be big enough? Legally blind, so we got one of the accessible rooms on Adventure because it said slightly bigger. Um, I think Walter, and granted, I'm not six foot two. I'm a few inches shorter than you, but I generally think you'll be fine. Um, I don't think that you're not like seven feet tall or anything like that. Um, I think you'll be okay, Walter. I, I wouldn't worry too much about your room selection if I were you. Uh, Firebrew, is the Royal Genie worth it? You know what, Firebrew? It is a great way to pamper yourself, great way to splurge, just like you might splurge for first class on an airplane or a suite in a hotel. It's not so much about, you know, it's not like a value standpoint, Firebrew, that like it's going to be a dollar for dollar value, but it is a great, fantastic way to treat yourself and, and really enjoy that. So the answer to your question, sure, if you got the money for it, you're looking to be you're looking to have a great time, Firebrew, it's hard to go wrong with that. Lisa, can I decorate my stateroom door on Symphony of the Seas? You can, Lisa. You just can't use any adhesive. So you can't use tape or glue, but you can use magnets. And absolutely, you can. You should actually decorate your room. Jason Peterson opted for a drink package on Mariner in July due to no kids and a price of $50, even though my wife usually doesn't break even. Dude, I'm in the exact same situation as you, sir. My next cruise is me and my wife. My wife doesn't drink nearly enough to break even, but I don't care. I want the drink package. I'm going to get it for her anyway. She'll have a little bit of fun as well. And we got no kids on there. So Jason, from one dad to another, YOLO book it. Uh, GG, I'm past final payment, 56 days to go. Why do I keep getting emails with Royal Caribbean for my guest invoice? Um, how did you book, GG? It's hard for me to answer your question because obviously I don't have access to your reservation or anything like that. If you book through a travel agent, contact your travel agent. If you book through Royal Caribbean, you should call and contact them immediately. Because once you're past final payment, you're supposed to be paid off. So it's hard for me to answer that question. L Branch, would the Oasis Ocean View Balcony Room be worth it? Sure. I mean, worth it is such a subjective question. You know, L Branch. Um, you know, balconies are really nice. And we've done a couple of videos, L Branch, about why, on our YouTube channel, if you want to check them out, about why... Um, Checking out a balcony room is really a cool idea. And also, why inside rooms are really cool. It's nice to have, no question about it, Elbranch. I wouldn't break the bank for it, but if it's in your ballpark, sure, go for it. Ryan, is Brilliance of the Seas a good ship to be on for a honeymoon, or do you recommend a bigger ship? I think it's a great ship, Ryan. I'm going on Brilliance next week. In fact, guys, next Friday, when we go live, we'll be on Brilliance of the Seas. So uh, look, for, look, to, look for that one. I love Brilliance. I mean, look, Ryan, here's the bottom line. Are you... if you, what, Brilliance is a fantastic ship, but it really boils down to what are you looking for on your ship? Do you want a zip line? Do you want Broadway shows? Do you want a Royal Promenade? Brilliance doesn't have that. If that's a big deal, then you should change to another ship. But if you're just saying, Matt, I want to have a romantic, relaxing vacation, hanging by the pool, still seeing some great entertainment at night, live musical acts, and a variety of other things to do on board the ship, Brilliance is fantastic for that. I love Brilliance of the Seas. So don't be afraid of it by any means. It's just a matter of really understanding what Brilliance offers and what it doesn't offer, and then figuring out if it's good for you. My advice, Ryan, if you have no idea really what it offers, is to go to RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com and go to our Cruise Compass archive. Over there on our Cruise Compass archive, we have past Cruise Compasses from Brilliance of the Seas, and you can get a really good idea of what's offered on board and have a much better understanding of what to expect on there. Kirk H., thank you for the super chat, my friend. Appreciate it. Um, Walter, does the compass on your website have shows that will be pl still playing in June? Yes, Walter. 
the enter- like the shows at night rarely change. The movies will change, but that's about it. Uh, Aisha Miller is here. Welcome, Aisha. Glad to have you here. Um, happy cruising. I'm not sure what you mean. What best ports are there? That's like asking like, where is good to visit in the world? Like, you know what I mean? On a car trip or something like that. It's, uh, you know what I mean? It, it's kind of hard to, to say that. Um, let's see here. Tyler, your drink package dropped already. Nice. Chris, why did they get rid of the champagne bar in Harmony and Symphony? That was our favorite bar. Well, it was never on Harmony. I think you mean a waste. Of- oh, I know what you mean, Chris. They got rid of it because uh, the Bionic Bar just draws a lot more people. In the end, it's a business decision, Chris. I think that more people were, were drawn to the Bionic Bar from a gimmick standpoint, to be honest with you. But I feel like there, you could still get the drinks, obviously, the Champagne Bar offered and other venues on board. Just a decision. There's probably marketing and design cha- considerations as well. Um, Albert, a first cruise coming up on Symphony May 4th. Nice! Net Raider going on first cruise next month. Will I get any discounts for my next cruise after just one sailing? So Net Raider, that's an interesting question. You won't get inherent discounts being a gold member in Crown and Anchor Society, but when you're on board that ship, Net Raider, you can go to the next cruise office and book another sailing, and then Royal Caribbean will give you some uh, extra money to spend on your next cruise called onboard credit. So sort of is the answer to your question. Um, Kirk, will the staterooms on Navigator be renovated? I don't definitively know that, Kirk. I mean, let me put it this way. Part of a refurbishment is to not only add, like, water slides and cool things like that. It's also to do some much-needed work and updates and refreshments. So, And, of course, things like stateroom renovations don't really usually make the, uh, they don't usually make the, um, you know, the press releases. But there's still a good opportunity for you to check that out, and I think it'll be fine, Kirk. I wouldn't worry one bit about that. Uh, Jeff Howells' blog, chats, videos, and website are all amazing. Learn a lifetime of info on, about Royal Caribbean from all of you. Well, thank you, Jeff. I'm so glad you're joining us here. The best way you can say thank you, Jeff, is by hanging out here every single time we're live. Hello, Lena. Welcome. Uh, Charles, you're going on Brilliance after me. I'm not looking forward to your sailing, but, uh, <laughs> hope you have a great time. Because, of course, when you're sailing, I'll be home already. Um... Joseph, what week is my cruise on December on Freedom? It is February 20... Or February. It is December 29th, Joseph. So it's over New Year's Eve. Uh, do I work for Royal Caribbean? I do not work for Royal Caribbean. I just run royalcaribbeanblog.com. Um, Jasper wants to know, do you think Royal Caribbean ships will get free Wi-Fi anytime soon? Soon? No. Maybe in time? Who knows? But not soon. I, that being said... The price for Wi-Fi in Royal Caribbean is extremely reasonable. It's not very expensive. Uh, Ed Beast has great voice. Why, thank you very much, sir. Uh, Fire Raid, besides cruises, which countries would you love to visit someday that you've not yet visited? Oh my gosh, there's so many. I mean, Brazil, um, again, any country in Europe, Australia, Japan, China. I mean, there's very few countries I don't want to visit, you know? Joseph's going on Anthem July 13th. What do you suggest I do? Actually, Joseph, if you go to Royal, if you go to RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, we have a first-timer's guide to Anthem of the Sea. So go to royalcaribbeanblog.com, search for Anthem First-Timer's Guide. You'll find that quite a bit. Um, Joey wants to know what I think of the Icon class. There's so little details about the Icon class. Joey, it's so hard. It's too early to really make an opinion on it, I think. Uh, Anthony Gomez, what are your thoughts on Allure? This is great ship. You're going to love it, dude. You, you'll love it. Awesome, awesome ship. Uh, Max Smith, do you, ever think, do you think Royal Caribbean will ever provide different levels of alcohol drink packages? Probably not. They used to offer different levels, Mac, but they got rid of it. You know why? Because it was it was confusing for guests and for crew members, which one they was, because you know what it is, Mac. Nobody reads, right? So people assume it includes this. It doesn't include that, and they get upset. So Royal Caribbean said, you know what? We're going to simplify this, and they have just one alcoholic drink package, one non-alcoholic drink package, and the soda package, and that's it. And it is simple. Happy cruising. Is cruising safe? It's very, very safe. Very, very safe. Uh, Jason saw your post message chat in app for Harmony. We'll try in October. Nice. Atlanta the Brave is going on Harmony this season September. Nice. Eric Seals, thank you for the for the super chat there. Going on Harmony April 7th. Eric says, have learned lots from your great blog. Why, thank you, Eric. That's really kind of you to say. Uh, Firebrew, out of all the Royal Cruises, which is your best? Well, legally, uh, Firebrew, I'm obliged to tell you that my favorite cruise was my honeymoon cruise. But my wife isn't here. Uh, but they've all been good. They all have their advantages. I mean, I, we did an awesome one to Cuba and Alaska last year, which was totally amazing. We have amazing Royal Caribbean blog group cruises. Oh. Walter, Walter wants to know, do I need the Wi-Fi package to text people in my group on the ship or to make calls to them? You do In order to use texting or calls, yes, you do, Walter. Before you, make any, before you use your phone on a Royal Caribbean ship, 
make sure it is in airplane mode first. Otherwise, you're going to come home to some really big, nasty bills from your cell phone carrier. So airplane mode, there are three steps. Put your phone in airplane mode, turn your Wi-Fi on, and then obviously sign on to Royal Caribbean's Wi-Fi. Tyler, can't wait for Cosmel, dude. Really, really excited. I'll be there a week from tomorrow. Um, let's see here. Uh, Luis Torres, Mariner or Navigator? Oh, man. With the new changes to Navigator, that's a real tough one, dude. I don't know. Um, that, that, that's a really good question. Oh, my God. I mean, there's, there's, they both have their advantage. They both got refurbished recently. I mean, I'm already booked on Mariner, and I'm not booked on Navigator right now, so I'd pick Navigator personally. But you, you can't make it. You can't make a mistake there, Luis. I would tell you flip a coin. Quite frankly, whatever's cheaper. How about that? Whatever's cheaper and easier to get to, go for that. But either one of them is really, really good. Mike uh, Val Valderis, I'm going on Harmony uh, January June. Can't read. Going on Harmony June 23rd. Your videos are awesome. Never cruised before. Excited. Well, Mike, you're gonna have an awesome, awesome time, dude. Greg, does Royal Caribbean have much of a problem with norovirus outbreaks to some other cruise lines? No. In fact, Greg. Norovirus outbreaks on cruise ships are at, an, at a multi-year low right now. Um, Fire Brew wants to know my opinion about other cruise lines. I haven't really been on them, so I, it'd be wrong of me to give you an opinion on them because I don't have an informed opinion. Nancy, going on Liberty in 60 days, any must-dos? Nancy Day, you must try the uh, Tidal Wave water slide. Is the, Liberty is the only Royal Cream ship to offer the Tidal Wave water slide. You're going to love it there. All right, guys, I got to run. Thank you for joining us here. This has been a lot of fun. I really appreciate it. We are live every Friday right here on YouTube. And, of course, we put out new videos. And if you're looking for even more Royal Caribbean news, information, and advice, check out RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. I'm going to answer one, one last question from Michelle Macy, who writes, Going on Freedom in 16 Days, is there a Broadway show on Freedom? No, but there is an evening entertainment. Uh, there's no, like, you know, grease or hairspray. But they do have musical-type shows on there, if that makes any kind of sense. So there you go. Guys, have a great rest of your week. Enjoy. Happy weekend. And we'll talk again very soon right here on YouTube. Bye, everybody.